I'm Pastor Ellie. And I'm Pastor Kurt. And we're from Seven Seas Ministries. And welcome to today's video. We're going to call this one With All Your Heart. Mm -hmm. And we're calling it that because we've noticed, and we've noticed throughout the Word of God, God really focuses a lot on that phrase, with all your heart. Mm -hmm. um, there are many scriptures that actually use that. I did a quick search before we started the video. And in the New King James Version, there's actually a total of 21 different verses mm -hmm. that use that phrase exactly as that. And there are other phrases that are similar that are used, but with that phrase, it's used 21 times throughout the whole Bible from mm. the start to finish. Um, and some examples might be the verse in Proverbs, you know, um, trust in the Lord with all your heart, mm -hmm. lean not on your own understanding, etc., etc. Um, but there are also other verses that talk about loving God, seeking God, mm -hmm. following God with all your heart. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we've noticed over the years that, you know, through studying and through observation and through seeing people's lives and our own lives and um, that su pursuing God, seeking God, and doing everything that you do for God with all your heart is what he desires. Yes. Um, you know, it's a common thread that runs from the Old Testament right through to the to the end of the New Testament. Mm -hmm. And Jesus often quoted, love the Lord your God with all your heart. Mm -hmm. And so if Jesus was quoting it, then it's pretty major. Yes. Um, because Jesus wasn't one to speak a lot of extra words when he spoke they had meaning right and so you know one of the things that we've noticed is that when we pursue god or seek god with all our heart we we get better results for lack of a mm -hmm. better phrase i hate that you know we don't seek god for results but our walk and our relationship with him mm. will flourish yes. when we seek him and pursue him with all our heart. Mm. It can't be half-hearted. Right. It can't be a little bit mm -hmm. because we get out what we put in. Mm. And again, we're not seeking God to get something. But when I say we get out what we put in, what I'm talking about is our relationship Mm. with him mm -hmm. it will only grow to the extent that we want it to grow mm -hmm. it will only grow to the extent that we put effort in right so if we put in a little bit of effort we'll have a little relationship right if we put in a lot of effort then our relationship with him will grow mm -hmm. and it will grow to the extent that we put effort into it yes so whatever bit of our heart we put into it is what we'll get out. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when the, when the Bible talks about with all your heart, it means with all your heart. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, so, it's so simple, but yet it seems to be profound enough that it gets missed. Yes, it's like our heart, once we start to get in that vein of seeking Him with all our heart, it's like our desires start to change. Exactly. And he yeah. sees that, you mm -hmm. know, he sees that our desires are changing and they're becoming mm -hmm. more after him than they are after That's right. things mm -hmm. or material things or stuff yeah. or, you know, exactly. um, titles or whatever. Mm -hmm. we, we start to desire um, after the things that that he he would want us to desire. That's exactly right. And so when he sees that, our heart, our heart's changing mm -hmm. and and that's what he wants for us. He wants, right. you know, once we become his child, mm -hmm. that's the thing that he wants to see. But it's also the thing that we should see in ourselves. Right. You know, right. we should be able to see that our heart is changing. Mm -hmm. If we, you know, get saved or receive him as our Lord and Savior and we don't change, hmm. what's happening? Right. Our heart isn't changing. It's right. not it's right. still the same, mm -hmm. and we can't stay the same. You right. cannot stay the same and be the child of God. You can't. Because God's 
uh, his his spirit in us will begin to move us in a different way right and we'll be able to see that change and mm -hmm. people around us will begin to see it and you know they may criticize us for it because they may not like the change because right. it may start to convict them Makes them uncomfortable. <laughs> so yeah. but we need to see that change in us our mm -hmm. heart needs to change right. and we need to it needs to be prevalent right. so that we can see it ourselves mm -hmm. and you know when we begin to follow him mm -hmm. and give him all our heart, that's one of the things we will notice that right. our desires are, they'll start to fall off. <laughs> exactly. And, 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 you know, there's a, there's a scripture that talks about God giving us the desires of our heart. Mm -hmm. And, and while that sounds, it sounds fun and fluffy on the surface, mm -hmm. in reality, what God is referring to is that as we press into him and as mm -hmm. we pursue him and as we seek him with all our heart, mm -hmm. our heart changes, mm -hmm. which as you were talking about, mm -hmm. causes our desires to change. Mm -hmm. And so that's when we'll start to see God giving us the desires of our heart mm -hmm. because our desires now line up with his desires. Yes. And it's not that God doesn't want us to have things that make us happy or, right. or satisfy us or whatever, but the things that make us happy and the things that satisfy us will change mm -hmm. when we truly come to grips with what it means to have a relationship yes. with God That's through right. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, one of the things that you, were, that you mentioned um, about, you know, people getting saved and, and not necessarily changing, mm -hmm. um, and, and, you know, I don't want to get off on a rabbit trail, but when we really mm -hmm. get God, mm -hmm. when we truly understand what it means to be saved mm -hmm. we can't help but change right we cannot help but change mm -hmm. and so I'll, I'll kind of leave that there for you guys to ponder on and chew on because i don't want to get off on another another whole teaching but mm -hmm. you know it, it's so important that we do what we do for god with all of our heart mm -hmm. we have to give it all our heart mm -hmm. again we'll we'll get out what we put in mm -hmm. so our relationship with him will reflect whatever we put in right. to that relationship. And I don't believe it's a forcing. I believe it's, it's something that we are willing mm -hmm. to do. It's, exactly. it's got to be our will to want it has to, to do be. this. And, mm -hmm. you know, to try to force it, it's not going to work right. It's no. not going to uh -huh. happen. The heart the heart has to be willing, not exactly. forced. Right. Whenever we're forced, even mm -hmm. as a child, you just... You know, it's 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 a forcing. You don't right. you don't do it with everything you have. You do it because someone's telling you. Right. But when it's a will to do something, you do it with everything in mm -hmm. you because you're willing now to right. do it. Amen. Exactly. Exactly. And it kind of reminds me of a, a little analogy or a story that I heard many years ago, and and it, it's kind of funny, but it it kind of brings all the little pieces of this together. You know, you talk about a child, and you know, maybe the the child is misbehaving and, and running around and stirring up trouble and you, you, you want the child to sit down mm -hmm. and you, you work and work and work to get that child to sit down mm -hmm. and you know they do it why because they're being told to do it they're being forced to do it mm -hmm. so they may finally sit down and you know in their head inside they may be saying well I may be sitting down on the outside, but on the inside, I'm still standing up. <laughs> and, and so, you know, that's that's kind of similar yeah. because mm -hmm. nobody can force us mm -hmm. to do something for God with all our heart. Mm -hmm. Nobody can force us to love God with all our heart or to mm -hmm. seek him with all our heart or trust him with all our heart. Mm -hmm. It has to be something that we do on our own. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. you know. God is not one to force us to do anything. That's right. We do what we do mm -hmm. based on free will. And mm -hmm. that's the amazing, incredible thing about God is that he doesn't force us. And he very well could right. because he's God, mm -hmm. but he doesn't want that. Mm -hmm. He wants us to love him because we want to. Yes. He wants us to love him because we see him for who he is. Mm -hmm. He wants us to love him because he first loved us. Yes. Amen. He doesn't want us to be forced. And so, you know, again, there's another thing that we could talk about for a long time right mm -hmm. there, but we won't. <laughs> we'll leave it with you guys to, to you know, pray about, ponder on. Mm -hmm. um, but God is just, 
an incredibly awesome father. Yes. And so there's good. there's so much that can be said, mm -hmm. more than we could ever speak in our lifetimes. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like the word of God. There's there's so much in it. Mm -hmm. and, and and like when the, the word talks about Jesus and all the things that he did, too much for any volumes to contain. Right. And that's the God mm -hmm. that we worship. That's yes. the God that we serve. Amen. So let's serve him with all our heart. Yes. With all our heart. Amen. Everything that we do. Amen. 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 Let's just pray and wrap this up. Father God, we thank you that you are who you are. Yes. We thank you, Father, that that you, you want us to pursue you and love you and walk with you with all our heart. Yes. Lord, help us to do that. Help us to do that in a way that is voluntary and meaningful and sincere. That we would not feel forced. Yeah. That we would not feel pushed. But God, that we would genuinely seek you with all our heart. And Lord, that we would walk closely with you. That each day we would grow closer and closer and closer to you. And that, that your desires would become our desires and that your ways would become our ways, that your thoughts would become our thoughts, Father, that, that we would start to become one with you, Lord, that, that we will become so close that there's no room for anything to get between us. And we know, God, that that's your desire for each and every one of us. Father, we just give you praise and honor and glory for who you are. You are so worthy of our praise. You are so worthy to be worshipped. And Father, we just we just want to put that out there. We want you to know, we know that you already know how we feel, but we want to speak it. We want to speak it, that all the heavens can hear, that all the demons can hear, that they would know and they would tremble to know that we love you more. We, we love you more then we love our own lives we love you more than anything on this earth and we adore you father we adore you we just praise you today father god we give you honor we give you glory and we love you with all our heart we pray in the precious mighty awesome name of jesus amen 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 so love him with all your heart. Yes. Seek him with all your heart. Yes. Pursue him relentlessly. Mm. Go after him with all that you have. Yes. Amen. 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 You guys enjoy the rest of your day. And until the next video, whoops, there goes an ambulance. <laughs> until the next video, you guys take care. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.